as many as 171 students were abused by teachers at different educational institutions from January to November this year. To our dismay, two students have committed suicide. Today Executive Director Sheepa Hafiza announced during a human chain in front of the Jatiya Press Club protesting the suicide of Eritrea Dikari. The human chain was organized by Child Rights Advocacy Coalition in Bangladesh. The coalition criticized the humiliation of Eritrea and her parents by teachers at Vikaranis Anun School and College. They also gave a list of recommendations to the government in order to stop the physical and mental abuse of students in the educational institutions. Their recommendations include proper investigation of all such incidents, punishment for the culprits and prominently displaying notification regarding prohibition on physical and psychological punishment to students in all academic institutions. I have marked that most of the teachers who punish their students for a silly reason mainly for violation of a trifle discipline, do not punish their own children. They even pamper in a way that makes their children unruly and uncouth. A good person hardly fingers at a bad man. On the contrary, a bad person frequently indicates another man bad. For example, there are ten people gossiping. The most scoundrel of them will mention others scoundrel. The better you are, the less you express who are bad. Similarly, the worse you are, the more you mention who are bad. The situation is all the way the same. The teacher who is appropriate dealing with his students will seldom scold or punish his students if not otherwise. That is why an unforgettable torture must ensure an unprecedented punishment. Still, punishment is rare in Bangladesh compared to rewards snatched away by the corrupt people. As a result, the common people suffer a lot. Similarly, students are abused mostly by those teachers who were never good students or good people. Thanks for watching.